Like real estate's changed, hasn't it? I mean, the buyer energy has changed. There's a disconnect with price. Um, I'm, I'm just curious, um, at the moment, you still do auctions? Is auctions a big thing in your business? Yeah, well, auctions are a big part of our, our campaigns right. um, and our strategy. Whether we actually get a property to auction or not depends on the amount of interest we've got in the property and the level of interest. Right. Okay, so um, let's talk a little bit about that because I know that you've got strong views about you know, managing an auction, selling it prior, um, um, you know, running it to the day. What's your view on that, right? My view is to ensure that we achieve our vendor the best possible price. And if that means wrapping up a property prior to auction, then we will. If it means running it through to auction, we will. We'll make that decision as we gain the intel right. whilst we're running those, that process. If we've got several buyers all at a similar level, invariably we'll just let it run to auction, let them compete. But if you've got one buyer who's up here and you've got a group of buyers who are down here, what we'll do is we'll negotiate as hard as we can with this buyer, get them to a level that's acceptable to the vendor, then before we sell it to them, we'll go back down to these buyers yeah. and give them every opportunity to compete. If they're not competitive up at this level, then you wrap it up beforehand. Otherwise, you'll end up at auction. These, these buyers will drop off at their level. And this, this buyer here will come down and go $10,000 more than this guy. Okay. I can tell straight away, you're a good negotiator. You're a good negotiator. You think you're a good negotiator? Well, I think you need to be a good negotiator to uh, hit your straps in real estate. I mean, Jason, do you reckon good negotiator versus bad negotiator, what difference can they bring to the table? Oh, it can be a disaster for the vendor. Right. We are, we are negotiators. That's what we do. That's what we're I mean, the most for. expensive thing I think you can do in real estate is to put a good buy in front of a bad agent, right? That can be Absolutely. really expensive. We have entered uncharted times. Prices are dropping. Your vendors want too much. Scripts and dialogues of yesterday have now expired. Do you know how to grow an effective business unit? You need more listings. No one's going to come to the rescue. It's time to go pro. I opened an office at 22. I'm no textbook teacher. No training program survives collision with reality. I feel your pain. I will show you exactly what works and why I've trained more million dollar agents than anyone else in Australasia. What an amazing opportunity to grow your market share. My real estate gym members are not just surviving, they're thriving. You're given scripts and dialogues. You're given templates. You are in a community of success and on top of online, you've got offline. I'm with you on a face-to-face -face basis with exclusive workshops for real estate gym members only. The real estate gym comes with my prospector, a self-accountability tool that has helped real estate agents make prospecting a world-class ritual forum. The real estate gym doors are now open. Press the link below and for less than three coffees a week, I will be your coach for the next 12 months. Let's plan a future bigger than your past. Never let your personal history get in the way of your destiny. Who you are is not who you can be.